So please welcome back to Lapsy Pug, Jim Turney. All right, thank you. Um, so as uh, Michael mentioned, I'm Jim Tierney from Digital Anarchy. Uh, and we have a plugin called Beauty Box, which is designed to do pretty much automatic skin retouching. So I'm going to show a demo reel really quick and uh, then dive into the plugin within Final Cut Pro 10. So. Mike, That's a beauty box. We can turn that off. So we just recently released uh, Beauty Box Video 2.0, um, and one of, the, of course, the big new features is that it works in Final Cut Pro 10. So we're pretty excited about that. Uh, of course, it also works in Final Cut Pro 7 and After Effects and Premiere Pro and Sony Vegas and all sorts of places, but. Uh, all right, can you guys still hear me? Yeah? Okay, cool. Excellent. Um, so the way it works is it's a standard effect within Final Cut Pro, so it shows up under your effects men menu, it's just in the Digital Anarchy folder, and like everything else, you just drag and drop it. Um, I've already got it applied here to my clip. Uh, okay. And by default, it doesn't really do a whole lot. If you just, once you apply it, if you just look at the before and after, um, not a lot is going on here. But what you need to do is click on Analyze Frame. It's a button down here in the interface. And what this does is runs a face detection algorithm to help us figure out what the skin tones are. And basically, by pressing that button, uh, we figure out what the skin tones are. We build a mask so that just the skin areas get smoothed out and we can see what the before and after of that looks like. And so one of the goals with Beauty Box is to keep things looking very realistic. Uh, we're not trying to create a plastic type of look. Um, you can certainly get those types of effects out of it if that's what you're going for, but the way it was designed is basically to take the edge off of HD because HD is giving us all this detail that we never really saw before <laughs> and <laughs> And suddenly people are looking at themselves on HD and going like, oh my god, I don't look like that. Um, and it's true. It, it actually, HD does actually tend to show you more detail because we're not usually shot with lighting in a certain way and um, you're just seeing a lot more detail on video than usually you even see in real life. Um, and so Beauty Box is designed to kind of take that edge off. 
And so once we've done that, it, that's going to build the mask for us. Uh, we can see what that mask looks like if we want. We can go to show mask and turn it on. And you can see it's done a pretty nice job of pulling that mask automatically. And it's going to track those skin tones throughout the entire video clip. So once you set it up on the first frame, that's pretty much all you need to do. Unless you're light, if your lighting changes, then you're going to need to uh, make an adjustment where the lighting changes. But as long as your lighting can stay, stays consistent, the skin tones are going to remain consistent, and that mask is going to tr track all the way throughout the video clip. Um, but we can make adjustments to the mask. You can see that we do have some gray areas here that we'd probably like to pick up. Uh, and the way to do that is to go to our mode pop-up here and go add color. And so one really cool thing about Final Cut Pro 10 that uh, we're allowed to do now is actually click on the preview window. Uh, you couldn't do this in Final Cut Pro 7. Uh, you can't do it in Premiere. Uh, you can do it in After Effects. But, so this is working a little bit more like After Effects now. So we can grab our Add Color tool and just click on these areas. And it's going to expand the skin tone range and include those areas. So you can see that it improved the mask by us just clicking onto the um, preview window here. And of course, I can go ahead and ex really expand this if I want by clicking these other areas. Um, and of course, that's not what I want. So you got to be careful about the mask um, clicking into areas like shadow areas. Um, yeah, so uh, that's the basics of Beautybox. Um, you have your smoothing parameters up here. This allows you to dial in however much smoothing you want to have. Um, by default, it's set up for HD. Um, and so you can dial this up, dial it down. One of the other new features that we added in 2.0 is shy removal. And this is kind of a subtle effect. Let's actually... Yeah, this is fine. Um, switch this to 100. And so it's just designed to help out with the highlights a little bit. Um, I'm going to turn it off to see what it looks like. And you can see that the highlights really pop out there and with it on. And again, it's really all designed to be subtle. It's really designed to keep things looking realistic so that you don't notice that the effect's been applied. It's just a little bit of digital makeup to, again, just sort of offset the effects of HD or you know, makeup problems or what have you. Um, and you've got some additional controls down here to, to help dial in the mask or do color correction. But you know, by and large, it's a pretty simple plugin. You just click on the Analyze Frame button. That's going to run the face detection, figure out what the skin tones are, build that automatic mask for you. And then you dial in the amount of smoothing you want and basically hit render, and you're good to go. Um, and of course, if you don't have a face, then you can also use it on clips like this, where we have um, a pair of hands. And again, that works very similar to the way that the add color section works, is we select set color, turn the mask on. Actually, I need to, there we go. Helps to actually have the clip selected. So we can go to set color. And we're just going to select the sort of a mid-tone value. That's going to set the initial point. We'll go to add color. Select another couple points on here. And that's going to build our mask for us again. And then, again, as long as those skin tones remain consistent throughout the entire clip, that's pretty much all you need to do. And we can... Now, you'll notice that I leave a little bit of gray in the dark areas just because there's not that much detail in the shadows. And the problem with selecting the shadow skin tones is that they're dark, and they tend to pick up other dark areas in the, in the clip. And since there's really not that much detail in those shadow areas, it's kind of best just to leave it alone. Otherwise, you're going to start picking up shadows on the other areas of the clip where you don't want it to, to work. But uh, that is essentially it. Um, there is a free trial that you can download at digitalanarchy.com. 
Uh, the cost is $199. And one of the, the cool things about um, Beautybox is that you know, we make it for a variety of different hosts. So it's not just Final Cut. It's Final Cut you know, 7, Final Cut 10, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Sony Vegas. Um, and so if you're on Final Cut Pro 7, you can buy it for 7. Uh, if you go to X, that's great. Your license is included for that. Uh, if you decide to switch to, say, Premiere Pro, uh, you have a license for that. So it's basically buy once, and it works on everything. And that includes even if you switch platforms and you know, use Premiere Pro on a PC, God forbid. But, uh, but if you went that route, your license would transfer over there as well. That's it. Uh